Can I try? Yeah, you can try. I think it's a systematic arrangement of documents. Yeah. Document. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Systematic arrangement of documents. Yes. Okay, where do you put them? Where do you arrange them? You're asking why do you arrange them? Where, where? Oh, uh, where? Yes. Uh, in an office, of course. In an office. <laughs> That's a <the> place. <laughs> uh, okay, we, we have said this. Okay, systematic arrangement yeah. or keeping of records in a systematic way. But you have to put them somewhere. If you're living in the office, but there's a, a specific area where you put them. Welcome, more of you. Can I say in a file? Yeah. In a file, uh, for, no, you're right. Yes. Yeah. Now, what's now a file? What's a file? It's a cover. Yes. It's a cover. Continue. Where, do, where documents are kept? It's a cover where documents are kept in a systematic manner. So it's just a cover. It's a kind of cover where documents are arranged in a systematic manner. So I would like us to look at the methods of classifying records. Methods of classifying records. So, which method do you know? Excuse me, Walim. There's a lot of noise in the background. Okay. Let, let us mute ourselves. All right, I mute for you. Okay, okay. So when you are answering questions, you unmute yourself. Is it okay now? Okay, now you can continue. So I have shared some notes there on the methods of classifying records. So we can use those, uh, those notes I can see some of you, you have the notes, but you don't revise. Okay, we have subject firing. So when you say subject firing, what do you mean? In a summary form, subject firing. You can meet yourself, then you answer that question. Subject filing. Yes. Uh, this is where uh, documents are arranged or rather kept in by sub, by letter or alphabet mm -hmm. order. Mm, alphabet order by letters. That's another classification. Okay, can you differentiate between subject filing and alphabetical filing system? Alphabetical yes. documents are kept in the alphabet letters. What with letters? Uh, what are some? But as for letters, 
for subject, subject. For subject, for subject. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Documents are kept according to different subjects, so maybe departments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Subject, let us use the, another term which you can name the subject. You can call it the topic. Yeah, the topic or the name. Okay. So the documents okay. are uh, the documents are organized according to the names or the topics. For example, you have the units. In college, we call the subjects units. Like now, we have office. So we have a different file for office as a unit. You can have another file for economics. Do you run economics? Yeah, we are running. I think you run economics. Yeah. So yeah. You have another we're file doing it now. Economics. Okay. You have another file for let's say QT, quantitative techniques. You have another file for another unit, it was accounting. So that one, we call it subject filing. So you file according to names or the topics. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And also, if you have various departments, that's another example. You have various departments in another system. When you are using subject file, you can try the document according to the name, the name of the department. According to the name of the department. Like now we have we have business department, we have ICT, we have journalism, Tamasco. We have engineering, we have community development, we have hospitality. So each department should have a, a different file. That's according to subject file. Okay. Another filing system. We have encyclopedia system. So when you say encyclopedia, what do you mean? Encyclopedia. That's it. Unmute yourself. In a encyclopedia. I don't know. I don't know. You have your notes. Yes, Edwin. You can assist them. Well, um, in an encyclopedia system of filing, this yes. refers to where a volume, large volume of records are arranged um, by subject. Yeah, so those are large volumes of records are arranged. Encyclopedia yeah. means you arrange the documents which have a large volume, huge information using the subject filing. Okay, then you are going to, uh, to break down the information alphabetically. So encyclopedia means you find the documents which have large volumes in a, in a, a different file. In most cases, we have types of files. When you are using encyclopedia system, we use box file. Okay. Who can tell me another one? Another system. Joseph. Okay. 
okay joshua just unmute yourself Jesse? Yes, you can have a question. Structured functional system. Structured functional systems. So when you are using structured functional systems, how are we supposed to arrange our filing? Remember, it is structured, functional. Okay, the files are organized or are arranged according to the functions or the major functions of the office. Do you remember the, the major functions of an office? Yes. Yes, one of them. One of the functions of the office. To process Thank and arrange information. Yes. So when we are arranging the information, which documents do we do we are what do we use? Sorry? When we are arranging information in the, in the office, which documents we use? about it when we are doing the the first function i said is for information receiving or giving out information for communication so when we are receiving information or we are giving out information which documents do we use report which document Letter. Letters. Yes. An example phone of a letter which we use in the office. Here we have the phone calls. So where do we record the phone calls? Do you record phone calls in the office? That's a good one. <laughs> For a few years. Yeah. 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 For a few years. Okay. So, if you have a book where you are recording the phone calls, that book it is not a must that it is there. it is supposed to be put in the in the box file. You can arrange them somewhere, but according to the to the function of that office of that okay so you arrange the files according to the major functions of the office that's now structured functional system okay another one Another system for filing. Numeric classification. Numeric. The term numeric means what? Numbers of numbers. Use of numbers. 
just numbers, use of numbers. Yes. So numerical so can be divided into various categories because we are using numbers. So you can use straight numeric system. You can use different numerical system and you can have decimal system. Okay. So when you say numeric, just use of numbers. Then we have another one. Hello. Hello. Kwani teacher amenda wapi? Simpati, I don't know what song. Hey, kuna mtu anasikia ya mwalimu? Hakuna, we are just listening here. Nime mtumia text hapa hivi inaoni. Inaoni pia hiyo. Hadi unaebu endelea. I'm getting you. Delena class. Are you getting me? No, we are not getting you. Eh? Yes, I. Now, are you getting me? Yes. 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 Okay. Edwin, are you getting me? We are getting you now. Okay, uh, somebody muted yes, me. Yes, I'm getting you now. Somebody muted me. <laughs> somebody <laughs> muted you. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, unmuted okay. myself. Okay, okay. now we can continue. <laughs> Thank you. We can continue. So I was explaining okay. about the systems. Okay. So I was saying about yes. now we are yes. in the number eight. 
Number eight. Are you seeing the notes? No, no, we are number five. Number eight. Number five. We are number. But you, you left you left that as number four. <laughs> yeah. okay, I left you number four. Okay, we can. Yeah, we left that as number four. Okay, but okay, I'm moving up to number five after number seven. But uh, I can repeat. I can repeat. Yes. Okay. So, so I left you when I we were in numeric classification, where we said we use numbers. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I say numeric is divided into three. You can use straight numeric. You can use duplex numeric or decimal system. Now are we together. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we can move to number five. Chronological. Chron means date. Are we together? So yes. when, you are, when you are arranging your files, so when you are filing using chronological, you file according to date. So this according to date, you can either use day, the day when you receive the information on the document. You can use the week. You can also use the month or the year. Okay, so that is according to chronological yes. system. Okay, now we have alphanumeric. Alpha numeric. Alpha means numeric letters. Alpha means letters. Letters. Yeah, and numeric means numbers. Numbers. Yeah. So alphanumeric. Yes. Use the combination of letters and the numbers. Okay, then we have subject numeric system where we use numbers and letters to represent a subject. I think that's what you must use. For example, if it is office, office, do you write the term office administration and management in your access book on your access book? Do you write the full name? <laughs> no, no. We, we always try as much as possible to shorten. You shorten. So when you shorten, you are using? Yeah. 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 Which one do you use? Uh, subject numeric. Subject numeric. So do you give them numbers? But yeah, no. Some people they can give no, really. numbers. Okay. 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 So, okay. Okay. Some people are making a lot of noise. Mute them, Mute them. Mute them. So. Geographic profiling, what does that mean? Just unmute yourself if you want to answer that question. Pardon, Pardon the question. Geographic profiling. Arranged according, divided according to places and origin. Good. So you find the documents according to the place of their origin. Where did they come from? So it can be the area, it can be a town, it can be a province, it can be a county. So you arrange the documents according to where you have received from. For example, if you receive documents from Nairobi, 
as a county, you can put all the documents which comes from Nairobi in one file. All documents which come from Nakuru, from another, that's another county, another file. So you file according to the place or town. Okay. That's, a, that's now geographical filing. So do you have a question on the systems? A question? No, we good. Okay, okay. So because of time, I want us to move to another another topic. Before we move to another topic, which is lipography, in filing, which which question do you have in filing as a topic? Remember, after filing, you are supposed to store the documents. How do you store the documents? Which systems of storage do you use? Storage systems or methods of storage. Methods of storage. The nodes. Methods of storage of documents. There is vertical filing. Uh -huh. Yes. Lateral filing. We have lateral. Horizontal filing. Horizontal. Suspension filing. Yeah, suspension. Suspension and so we call it sticky. Yeah. So when you say you are filing vertically, what do we mean? Vertical filing. You keep in the keeping of the record within the drawers and that's in shelves. In shelves. Yeah, when they are standing upright. Yeah, standing upright. Yeah, I don't see the right the document down. standing up. Standing upright on what? Um, on the drawers. Drawers and racks. Drawers and racks. Mm. Okay, so when you are going to explain in your, when you are going to do your exam, assume you are in the exam room, which sentence are you going to use to explain particular filing? Particular filing. Yes. And a file Hmm? Vertical filing is the arranging of documents standing upright in racks, drawers, and shelves. Good. That one I can give you two marks. Edwin, can you explain it? Vertical filing. Which one? Vertical. 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 Yes. Vertical filing is arrangements of uh, files in um, there's a word I wanted to use, but um, it has gone. Okay. Uh, it's just <laughs> it has disappeared. <laughs> okay. When you use vertical, because you are on, on, on video. Can you demonstrate how you are in the category? Demonstrate. Demonstrate. <laughs> 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 There are range of right. 
They are kept in chronolo chronological order. Huh. I think they are placed in flat position. They are flat position. So the files are put on top of the other from bottom to top. Okay. That's all central. Yeah. So filing can be done either centrally or departmental. So when you say central filing, what do we mean? Central filing. And central filing. Yes. Um, I can try. Yes, you can try. Um, all files are kept in one place. Uh, for example, uh, uh, in an office, yes. all files uh, files from all departments are kept in one place. Yes. In most cases, at central place, we call it registry. Okay? Yeah, registry. Yeah, yes. at central filing. Departmental? Uh, in departmental filing. Yes. Each department keeps its own files. Each department does their own filing. So each department yeah. files their own documents. So for example, yeah. business department, we have to file. Do we need a secretary for the department? Uh, for departmental um, filing? No. No, no, no I, don't think, uh, I don't think so. Okay, why? Why not? And we are doing filing for our department. Because the uh, departmental filing, uh, you don't really deal with it so much. Uh, rather, two huge documents. So, so mm -hmm. that's why you don't need a secretary. You don't need a secretary. Any staff can do the filing. Yeah, yeah. But in central filing, we need a secretary there. Because the files are so many and they're coming from different departments. So you need an assistant. The registrar cannot, cannot do it at all. So he has he must, he must get an, a support from assistant or a secretary. Yes. Okay. So in our in the kids. As a college, which system do we use? Department. Uh, I don't think if it's departmental in the sense that um, we have a registry in KIPS, so I think it's a centrally managed. Central. Okay, central. So we use centralized. Okay, yes. I can agree with you. In most cases, we use centralized because all the documents from various departments they are taken to the registry. So if you need your maps, yeah. 
you don't come to the department. You just go to the registry. You get all your marks there. If you want to register for exams, you go to the registry. You don't go to the department. So in the kids, we usually use centralized. Centralized. Okay. So because of our time is over, let us meet next time. Then we discuss about the geography. I'm aware some of you you have the business finance. So let us meet for the next lesson. On okay. next time. When is the next lesson? Next week. Next week. Then we we'll look at. Uh, the next week Thursday. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sawa, sawa. okay. okay. Good day, Molly. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Good day. Have a good day.